Right, so this is a scrap of a memory foam mattress topper. You can sometimes find scraps of this stuff pretty cheap because people will start off with a mattress topper larger than what they need and so they'll cut off what they don't need and sell it. Or um, sometimes you can get an entire mattress topper just super cheap because people don't think to buy used mattress toppers. So I've got this. Um, this is my last of the scrap I've got left and I've been making stuff with it recently. Um, this is like a, garden, a gardening knee pad. So um, you can kneel on this when you're out gardening. And that is good for your knees. I've made this camping pillow, which is uh, very nice compared to what it used to be. It compacts and rolls up really small, which is nice. What I've actually got here that I thought would be the perfect project for memory foam is this old rigid helmet that I have, but I haven't used forever. It's because it's kind of just been my backup. So it's not a bad helmet, except for the fact that it's uh, an older style, the rigid shells, but it's the foam is just not very comfortable. But I think there's been some that have some pads that are missing on the inside. It's it really feels uncomfortable on the top of your head. So I was thinking this is perfect for memory foam because memory foam can expand and take up a lot of space like this, but also can compact and be just very minuscule in the amount of space it's going to take up. So I've cut this three quarter inch piece that I'm going to be fitting and, and gluing in there um, after I shape it a little bit. So I started off with, you know, this piece here and the absolute best way to cut memory foam is with a bandsaw, which is what I did here. Um, but um, yeah, you can see it's, it's just perfect, perfectly cut. Um, but I do not have my bandsaw here because that is at the shop. So what I just did instead, this is another thing you can do. And that's what I used to cut this and you can see that it's perfectly adequate. It's not a perfect cut, but it's perfectly adequate. So to make a cut like that um, is very easy. All I have to do is kind of grab a straight edge. So this is just a piece of uh, plexiglass, but this could just be a piece of wood or whatever. And you just, you just compress down the edge and um, run a sharp knife down that edge several times. And uh, after three or four strokes, just kind of cut your way through. And um, that'll give you a nice, a nice straight edge on there. So that's how you can cut the foam. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, so I've got my, my sheet, the thickness I want. So I'm just gonna try to figure out the, uh, how I wanna shape it. So to cut the sheet, I'm just gonna use just scissors. So, all right, so I'm done cutting it for what I need. Uh, all I did was really make it less square and cut a slit in it to make it kind of a Y. And that Y is gonna go right down in there and follow this shape right there. So now all I've got to do is glue it down. So I'm just using a old cereal box and some spray glue and thankfully memory foam actually handles spray glue really well. So I'm just gonna put a nice coat of glue on that. Then I'm just gonna make sure there's something for it to tack to on the inside of the helmet. I don't want to get too much because overspray is gonna uh, might get messy when you put someone's head in there. And I'm just gonna let it for, let it sit for a couple minutes until it starts to get tacky. Okay, I figure that is just tacky enough, so I'm going to get that right back in there. Split the Y's out. That. Try to kind of keep it straight. That's kind of a little messy. Make it a little of an interesting shape if I can. You know, because there we go. I think it looks all right like that. Now um, that should be good. Just stick it on my head real quick, and that feels all right. I'd say that feels pretty good. So uh, on this helmet, I'm not going to bother doing anything more than that. Uh, I just wanted to get the helmet back up so it can be used again, just because it was just so uncomfortable um, without any pads um, to keep this part of the helmet from touching the top of your head directly. Um, but if you were to take a little bit more time um, and do an entire helmet, you could make it look pretty neat. Um, you could even spray uh, the top of this stuff to give it a, a little nicer look like that. 
So there's another type of memory foam that I'm sure everyone is aware of, but maybe hasn't thought about as memory foam at all, and that is earplugs, right? Um, they're a really high quality, very dense memory foam that uh, performs really well. They have a very long memory compared to uh, a memory foam like the mattress pad, right? Um, it's very nice stuff. And the thing about it is these are disposable, so they're just thrown away all the time. And I'm sure you can go to like an industrial site where earplugs are mandatory and they probably have disposal buckets just full of nothing but used earplugs. Um, and then the thing about earplugs, you, you know, these just these just wash clean. I mean, maybe not so clean where you'd want to use them in your ears again, um, but if you're just using them as memory foam, just for the material, um, that would probably be all right. So I think it'd be kind of a fun, interesting, weird project to take a bunch of used earplugs and maybe arrange them as high quality memory foam padding. So. This video is about, you know, a helmet padding, and I'm not sure, I, th I think for that you might have to trim them down to like half height so they don't lay down too much. Um, but that'd be a fun thing. So instead of, instead of just sheets, there'd be little nubules that would kind of deform and bend, and that'd be kind of cool. But um, also would be cool would be um, uh, like knee pads or something. Um, so like, so G-Form is actually just a, a memory foam that's a very similar type to the kind you find in earplugs. So it'd be kind of cool to take like maybe an old knee pad that is no longer useful anymore. This one's just completely worn out. Maybe take the shell off of it and then glue on a bunch of these earplugs uh, as, a, uh, as a padding for the entire inside of the shell and then just rivet on straps to it and have a really cool hard shell memory foam knee pad. Um, anyway, just some ideas uh, that I think would be cool. Um, this one I think is more practical. You could make it look neat, you can make it a lot more functional, and you can get the memory foam for, for very cheap. Um, this I think would be a fun, weird, cool project, and uh, taking earplugs and making, uh, making pads out of that. So there we go, memory foam and some skateboarding applications.